definitely somebody that tries to eat healthy. And I love Erica Schlick. She has just wowed me over on Instagram and on our show. So we always like having her back. Erica, you've got so many great recipes. And the best thing about you is that they're always pretty easy. So I like that. Absolutely. I like to keep it as simple and healthy as possible because the easier it is, the easier it is to stay on track and eat healthy and eat clean. Totally. Okay. So what are we making today? Today we're going to make a shrimp ceviche and it's so Ooh. easy and this is going to be your go-to for lunch, especially as we start getting in spring and summer. You can make this, have it ready to go and eat it whenever you want. And it's so good. <laughs> I love shrimp. I love ceviche. So where do we start? Let's do it. So I've got some shrimp here that I've gone ahead and cut about quarter inch pieces and I've actually marinated it overnight in some lemon juice. Uh, you can do it like 30 minutes before too. It's not a big deal. So we're going to make kind of our lime sauce here. So I've got about half a cup of fresh lime juice and I've got some garlic powder and some sea salt and that's it. Super simple. Just a little bit of flavor with the lime. We're just going to go ahead and whisk that and set it aside. And now we've got our shrimp and I've got one cucumber that's been diced here. And you can do it as big or small as you want, depending on how you want it to look. I've got some cherry tomatoes that have been quartered as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that a quick mix here just to start to mix it in together. And I've got two avocados because you've always got to get your healthy fats in there. And I put a little bit of lime juice on these so they don't oxidize. And some cilantro because I'm all about the fresh herbs. Super simple, super flavorful, so healthy. And that's it. We're just going to go ahead and get this kind of mixed in here. And now we can add our lime sauce, which is going to tie it all together and give it all that good lime and garlicky flavor. And that's it. It's so easy. You can make it ahead of time. I'm going to probably eat this for lunch later today. So good, so easy. And I like to serve it with some grain free tortilla chips, or you can do grain free uh, tortillas as well and make it kind of into like a taco almost if you want to. So or just on its own. You don't even have to do anything with it either. So it's really good. It works well as like an easy light lunch, dinner, appetizer, all around easy and so good to use for anything. And you're using a few of my favorite ingredients that I continually have in the refrigerator. So tell me this, once we've done the recipe, about how long do you think it would last in the fridge? I would probably eat it that same day. Um, okay. You could probably have it for dinner and get away with it just because the avocado will start to get a little mushy. Yeah. The shrimp and the rest of it holds it pretty well. It's more just about the avocado and how long that can last. You could always, if you're going to make it and want to eat it later, you could always add the avocado in last minute as well. So that doesn't Smart. smell like that can marinate in there as much. Um, so that's one option if you want it to keep a little bit longer. Okay, well, Erica, this one is right up my alley. So I am going to make it and I will tag you when I do. If awesome. others want to find some of your recipes or your book, where can they go? Absolutely. They can find all my recipes in my book on my blog. It's thetrailtohealth.com. And I also have my cookbook available on Amazon as well. Perfect. Erica, great to see you. And congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. <laughs> Very exciting. We'll see you soon. All right, sounds good.